Hello and welcome to Havoc Forging. This is OxyClutch and today I'll be doing a Halo 5 Forge tutorial over this little aesthetic here. Uh, I don't know exactly what to call it, but it is a bundle of pipes inside of a open crate and I saw this on one of my friend's maps, the Slammers, on his 2v2 and I thought this was a really neat aesthetic and I was uh, going ahead and do a little tutorial over this. So. Um, this is a great aesthetic for kind of filling up the empty areas on your map that uh, it could either be for your Slayer or whenever Infection, infection is released, you know, just to make it feel, you know, the open space is more confined and you can add a little bit more detail. And I feel it's a much better aesthetic than just, you know, adding just uh, plain old crates all over the map and it kind of adds a little bit of variety. So. Uh, let's go ahead and look at this object real quick. Um, as you can see, it is just a pile of, uh, I have the pipes that are uh, 16 in length, and I have a few cables that are capped and uncapped, and just two panels. So it's not not a lot of uh, very, I guess you say, difficult pieces to use, but there are quite a few of them. So. Um, as we move into this area, how I'm going to go ahead and build it for you guys. So as, as I said before, um, there is quite a few pieces here. Uh, there's 20 in total. Um, I counted them all out. So let's go ahead and start building this. So uh, what I start out with usually first is just the panel pieces. Um, I already have these in the uh, correct length so I can just grab all these pipes. Now all these pipes, uh, I just have them stacked kind of in a little triangle. Um, just to fill up the space, you know, make it a little bit, um, I guess, look neater. <laughs> I don't know. But go ahead and place these in here. But uh, I already have these kind of bundled together for this tutorial and make it go a little bit quicker. So, all right, so there we go. So now that we have the, oh, my bad. Uh, now that we have the pipes kind of in place there where we want them kind of centered, uh, you can actually add more pipes underneath there if you really want to get the full aesthetic value but I only have them kind of on the outside so uh, next thing that you want to do is this is the cable capped 1 by 16 so this will be in the exact length of the the pipes that I have here um, so that they will fit uh, as you can see in this little example right here they will fit to the edges and it kind of looks like um, you know they're supporting and that's the end cap and it really kind of uh, defies the, uh, the edges here so I'm going to go ahead and group all of these here and then I'm going to go ahead and move them into place right over here. Let's go ahead and line this up. Uh, well, maybe almost and I feel I got it there. Uh, let's move it over left a little bit. One, no, one more. Okay, so there we go. We got the capped uh, cables in place. So now what we're gonna grab here is probably the most tedious part of the entire build is we're gonna go ahead and grab all these cables here and these cables are the kind of outsides to kind of cage it in. You know, kind of get that crate feeling. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, to really f get that um, feeling or on the outside at least what I like to do is um, try to I like to hide the the bars so that the capped piece is actually faced on the outside as you can see here so it kind of you want to kind of want to go through uh just for uh, i it's the length of it it's a little bit longer than the, the height of the object so whoops all right so now we're going to go ahead and get the top piece of it so i'm going to go ahead and group these and um, so now you want to turn these Oops, I have this on 15 degrees, so now they're on 45. So now this this part's actually kind of cool. Um, since the length of this is a little bit longer, what you can do is you, you can actually bring these in and have these kind of underneath the bar again, kind of get those cap pieces to show forth. I'm going to go ahead and do some Z fight here. And what you can see is that the they actually go a little bit longer than the kind of the where the cap pieces are and I actually kind of like that it kind of adds a little bit more detail to the whole aesthetic and then now I'm going to finish up with the end piece and let's get off Z fight and go back to 1 8 and let's see let's go ahead and just finish this up and we're gonna go ahead and shrink a little bit and there we have it 
we have the crate of pipes, I guess you could say, the crate of pipes. And uh, what's actually kind of cool is to get players from, you know, jumping out of this, even though people, players can get caught, you can actually add some invisible barriers to the outside of this to avoid players from hopping in. So um, I just thought this was a neat aesthetic that I'd like to share with you guys. And um, hope you guys enjoy this little video and uh, happy forging.